Don't worry, this intro is not going to contain voice impersonations of Borat, I promise. What is up everyone, Movie Man back again with another review and this is going to be for the film Borat, subsequent movie film and this is directed by Jason Walner starring Sasha Baron Cohen and Maria Bakalova. Now I'm going to be honest, this is probably going to be a shorter review than usual but let's just get straight into it. I didn't quite know what to think when I heard another Borat movie was coming. This just seemed to land on Amazon Prime out of nowhere and this could have went really, really bad I feel because this might have been a character you should have left in the past. But Sasha Baron Cohen has made me fall in love with Borat all over again. It's really, really easy to roll your eyes and just think, oh, Borat, he was funny like, what, 20 years ago? But this reminds you why he was actually funny in the first place. What this movie does so well though, instead of giving us one Borat, it gives us two in a way. He's got a daughter here called Tuta, played by Maria Bakalova, and she was honestly the biggest positive about this movie for me, by far. She was so entertaining, she was just as brave as Sasha Baron Cohen, and seeing these two on screen together and the chemistry they had absolutely killed me. It was an absolute genius stroke to bring her along for the ride. One scene in particular that involved these two together on screen was something called the moon dance in the ballroom full of people. And it's something that I didn't even think Sasha Baron Cohen would go for. And when I was watching this, I was just hiding behind a blanket, cringing, but crying my eyes out with laughter at the same time. And when this dance came to its end, I was left gobsmacked. My jaw hit the floor. I could not believe what I'd just seen. Baron Cohen goes to extreme lengths with Bacalova in this movie. It also give Cohen a little bit of a chance to experiment with Borat, the character, a little bit more because no one knew who he was in that first film. But here, he's noticed everywhere he goes. There's people asking him for selfies and stuff. So he decided to disguise himself and dress up a little bit. And towards the end of the film, he put this costume on and I couldn't quite believe what I was seeing, just like that last scene I was talking about. The guy just asked for trouble everywhere he goes in this film and I'm surprised no one punched him in the face. <laughs> I truly am. Now I was very, very surprised with the story and screenplay here because apparently this started filming in late 2019, but there's a lot of stuff about the coronavirus in this movie and it actually makes up most of the story all the way until June 2019. So it's like they made it up as they went along. That to me is genius and that has to be applauded. For what this movie turned out to be, that's just amazing to me. I really can't believe it. Now I don't know if this is a mixed bag, a positive thought or a negative view. It's more likely going to be a positive after what I've read up on. But when you see these people in this movie who are being set up by Borat and his daughter, two very, very out there characters, you've just got to think behind the camera and think, these people have got to be in on the act. But when I read up on about three of these people in this movie, they had no idea what was going on. And Donald Trump has even called out Sasha Barra Cohen for being a weirdo, a complete weirdo, for setting up a high-ranking American politician towards the end of the movie. That is just absolutely... That is all I can say. Because if that's true and no one in this movie knew what was going on, well done, sir. Look, if you're going to like this movie, I think it's all going to depend on your sense of humour. Borat and Tutar are just outrageous characters. The story is ridiculous and it's all like a jackass style movie in a different way of course but every scene feels like a dare. If you feel like this is going to be funny to you like it was to me then you're going to be in for a treat here. I'm just going to go ahead and rate this movie now. I'm going to give Borat's subsequent movie film an 8 out of 10. For what this movie goes for and the type of movie it is it does it really well and there are plenty of laughs. And you know what? It's actually made me want to do something. 8 out of 10. I like! So at the end of these reviews, I always like to leave a little fun fact. Now, the fun fact for Borat's subsequent movie film is that Kazakhstan were very, very outraged with the first Borat movie and saying it had a bad effect on their country. But it's now done a flip and a U-turn and they actually use the phrase, very nice, for a tourism advert for you to visit their country. Okay, guys, hope you all enjoyed this review. Got a lot more reviews coming. If you want to subscribe, it's up to yourself. If you want to comment about Borat, leave it down below. I will reply to every single one of you, I promise. Take it all easy, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.